Welcome everyone back to the channel. Today we are in my backyard. And like a lot of other people, during the quarantine and everything else, we had to try to find some way to keep busy to, um, for people that golf, like myself, um, to keep your game in check because you weren't allowed to go anywhere. So a lot of advertising was done on Instagram, on Facebook for these nets. I bought one. I thought, well, 120 bucks, sure. If I have to modify it, that's fine. Something I can hit at home and try to get back into the rhythm, back into playing, back into all that fun stuff. So it took forever to get here. I ordered it back in March and I didn't get it till June. I'm thinking June. Um, problem is, it wasn't hard to set up. You just gotta crisscross these 10 pegs and and put that little uh, canvas thing in. But as you notice on the canvas thing, number one, it's flopping in the breeze. It's held to the net with these four little, whatever you call them. My first hit blew one off. My second hit blew the other one off. Uh, I think fifth and sixth blew the other two off. So I decided to, uh, it's kind of funny, you'll like this. I decided to uh, put a hole and then put some shoestring. Put the tie it around the net itself. That seemed to work pretty good. Until I pulled the driver out. I thought, well, I'll ease into the driver and it was taking the hits pretty good. And then I got a hold of one. And this is probably hit number 10 on this net. Hit number 10 and already ripping. I can't hit again. I hit that same spot, that ball's gonna go through and it's gonna end up my neighbor somewhere. So, um, the fix for that I think is gonna be, I'm, I have some uh, canvas drop cloths. What I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to, I think, if I have a sewing machine, I gotta see if I can get it to work. I might knit some canvas all the way around the backside of this and then do the same thing. I may put some eyelets on, on the four corners to hold the net in place and use shoestrings again. That's fine. And that would be a legitimate net. But Chinese stuff, holy crap, Ola, this is like 10 hits and I already have a hole in this thing. I don't have a hole in that, thank God. I'm glad that the ball lost momentum and just plopped down, but holy crap, Ola. So anybody else that bought one of these nets, comment down below. How long did it take until you popped a whole one of yours? Oh, it's right there. Um, like this video, subscribe, leave me a comment. I'm curious how many people are practicing at home. Uh, I'm practicing at home now, this is July, everything is somewhat opened up, like I can golf and all that fun stuff, but we lost one of our local driving ranges and the other driving range I used to go to, I can't hit driver on it anymore. So I decided, well, I'll practice driver at home in the net. Not today. It's sad. Why can't China produce anything that's good? Like, this is not very thick. Now, mind you, when I first started hitting it, I decided just to do a easy little punch shot, keep it low. If it did go through the net, it hit the fence. And it took it. Up until I got to the driver, and I actually put some speed behind it. Sad. That's it. I just wanted to make this video on these nets. I've seen them all over the place. A um, bunch of people were practicing at home. A bunch of people made their own nets. I decided to do this, and I thought, well, if I have to modify it, whatever. What can you do? Just play on. So, hope you like it. I'll see you next time.